Hey, Swami Gang Gang. For those of you who are new and is confused why this isn't a Baldur's Gate 3 video, don't panic. Baldur's Gate 3 ain't going anywhere. I'm just resuming my Last of Us Part 2 playthrough. So back in May of last year, I started playing The Last of Us Part 1 for the first time. I absolutely loved it. And when I finished the game and DLC in late August, I immediately started playing The Last of Us Part 2 for the first time. I was almost done with Day 3 in Seattle when I found out that they were going to remaster Part 2 and I thought, oh perfect, I'll just find a good stopping point and just wait until the remaster version comes out. Well, it came out in late January, but I just I haven't had time to continue playing the game. But since your girl has been sick the past weekend, I've, I've finally had time to continue playing the game. And yes, I'm fine. It's just a cold and I'm just really congested. If you haven't already picked that up yet, you're like, oh, Swami sounds, sounds bad. I'm fine. I promise. But here's the kicker though. Since I got the remaster version, I had to completely start over. So that meant I had to replay everything that I've already played through. So that means I had to rewatch Joel's death scene again. I had to go through the awkward Dina and Ellie dialogue again. I had to watch Dina tell Ellie she's pregnant again. I had to replay all Ellie's good. Joel, look. That is a hat on a dinosaur. It's called a hatosaur. And bad flashbacks with Joel again. I had to replay missions that still terrify me, even though I know what's coming. I still get scared and get jump scared again. I had to watch Ellie slowly become a savage again. I had to go to the aquarium again. Re kill the dog again. Watch Ellie terribly interrogate Owen and uh, Mel. Yeah, it's Mel. Mel's her name. I had to watch that. I had to rewatch Abby just shoot Jesse like he was nothing again. And then now I'm sitting here going like, what the hell is Abby going to do next? Again. Even though I knew what was going to happen, I still felt the highs and the lows in this game. Like it was fresh yes. in my mind. So, yeah, this uh, this game is an emotional roller coaster. And now I'm right back to where I left off. And this time around, it's going to be the remastered version. And honestly, this game really didn't need a remastered version. It was already fantastically beautiful as it was. Like, if you were to tell me the PS4 version came out this year... I would think it's a PS5 game. I mean, the game still looks like it hasn't aged at all. Because it hasn't, really. It's only three years old. Well, it's going to be four this year. I keep forgetting it's 2024. I still think it's 2023 for some reason. And the PS4 version of this game looks a lot better than most new games coming out this year. So, I I mean, it didn't need it. But for $10, yeah, go ahead. Update it to the PS5. I don't mind. Sorry, I'm rambling here. I just got off topic. Let's go ahead and play. I don't know why I just cut to black like that. I'm just, I'm really nervous right now. Dad? What? Um. Dad! What? <laughs> Dad! Did I miss something here? What is happening? It's an interesting direction. Um, you think now's a good time to flash back? Four years earlier. Dad. Um, Neil. Neil Druckmann. Um, what what is happening here? I mean, we're jumping all over the place here. L listen, I feel like I have no room to judge. I have ADD and I'm all over the place. But it's not this bad. We're just jumping from timeline to timeline. And at the most important parts too. Why? 
I'm guessing this is where everyone stopped playing because we're playing as Abby now. Dad, come on! Listen, I was told to keep going. I can't keep doing this. No matter what, so... Okay, let's just keep playing as young Abby right now. I'm... Dad! So confused. We, we don't know where Dad's at. We've lost Dad. Where are you? You know, right now, I'm not seeing her as Abby. I'm just seeing her as Laura Bailey looking for her dad right now. Here we go. Oh, can we get up there? I know this is pre-Royd Abby. <laughs> she looks completely fine here. There. Ooh. Dad! Okay, how am I getting over this fence? No pressure, Abby. You got an audience now. Lily is curious how you're gonna get over this fence. Or she's just curious about my mouse on the screen. She, like, thinks it's real. He's so silly. Can we get through here? Whoa. Jeez. Not the squirrel jump scaring me right now. Didn't expect to get scared in this flashback, but here we are. Oh. Okay, well, it's just a bathroom. Just kidding, I figured out what to do. Just gonna <laughs> throw that there. And it just get through. Perfect. Here we go. Can I get through here? Maybe I can get onto the roof. Ah, dumpster. What? What is this? Quarters? Look at that. 1978. Oh my god, she collects state quarters. Tell me why I used to do that. Not me relating to Joel's killer already. Here we go. You see, I used to collect state quarters. I got up to 48, and then I had to start paying for my own bills. So, there. yeah, it, it sucks. Now I get to continue my hobby with Abby. Yay. Where is Dad? Who is Dad? Smooth, Abby. I mean, I wasn't going to say it, but I'm glad you did. I'm glad you have a good sense of humor. Because I'm going to be picking on you a lot. What? Oh! oh no. <laughs> I thought you covered in mud! Abs? Nope, find a new nickname. I don't like that. Oh, <laughs> shit. You, uh... I know you. You got a little mud on you there, sweetheart. Shut up. So do you. Where? Right there. Ha! Oh. <laughs> gotcha. You know, every time you run off like this, they give me shit about it. Come on. Believe it or not, they actually care about your safety. These woods are safe. Dad. Abs. Nope. She's been hanging out right on the other side of those trees. Who? And? She's due any day now. We'll just check on her, and then, and then we'll head back. Who's giving birth out here? I promise. Aren't you a doctor? You can put... Oh, wait. Maybe it's an animal. Let's just make it quick. Are you a vet on the side? See? I've got my little girl to keep me safe. Mm. <laughs> I don't know about that. But whatever. How do you know I was here? Owen ratted me out, didn't he? He did his job. Oh, are they dating? How'd you get him to talk? Bad in my eyes. Uh, I asked. <laughs> huh. Yep. She probably cut through the playground. Come on. So is this what you do in your spare time when you're not trying to save lives? Hey, look what I found. Virginia. And look, check out the year. Oh, wow. 1978. Don't have that one in my collection. You can keep it. If you promise not to pull anything like this again. <laughs> you got yourself a deal. Why don't I believe you? No reason I could think of. I'm feeling easy to keep that promise. Come on. Let's keep looking. Dad. Relax. You'll be back with Owen before you know it. Wait, what? <coughs> Nothing. Just noticed you two have been hanging out a lot. Oh, yeah? More so than usual. Oh, God. <laughs> How long have you known? I'm your dad. And? I see things. No, you don't. Like the way you both try really, really hard not to look at each other when you're around me. Oh. You get all serious. It's very cute. I can't handle it. And he makes you laugh. <laughs> That's because he's such an idiot. I just like how he's extra nice to me now. Mm. He gets all nervous when he has to keep me in check. So you're taking advantage of him. Oh, totally. Me? Never. You know what? I feel like Neil Druckmann purposely made every encounter with Ellie and anyone she talked to awkward so that Abby... Whenever you do play her, 
She's like, look, you can relate to her. She's funny. She has a good sense of humor. You know, she had a life before all this. She has a good relationship with her dad. It's not awkward. And she's got a little boyfriend. Like, I feel like they purposely did this because they know people are going to be so pissed when they have to play as Abby. So she's going to be like the chillest, most relatable person you could possibly think of. And they got Laura Bailey to voice her. I freaking love Laura Bailey. I mean, Ashley Johnson and I are practically the same person, but Laura Bailey and I had the same dirty mind. Like, I swear to God. <laughs> Fresh tracks. You know, I can respect an actor that not just plays a villain, but a person that everybody hates. Let's see if we can find anything else. Is this a horse? Wait, this is just your sneaky way of giving me a tracking lesson, isn't it? Psh, I would never. We're doing it right now. Is it working? Well, I mean, I found you. Yeah, but you cheated. Not really. You do what you need to do to get it done. Wow. You actually listen. You have your moments of wisdom. Listen, this this scene is adorable. Like, Abby bonding with her dad. But if this is the day I think it is... It ain't gonna be happy for long. You can't fool me, Neil Druckmann. I know exactly what you're trying to do here. Stop it. See anything else? Not yet. Keep looking. Keep looking. Should we... Where are you looking? <laughs> I'm going over here. Ooh, I see blood. Oh. Oh, looks like we missed the birth. Uh, Dad, I found... Something. It's the placenta. Oh my god. She already gave birth. Ew. Hey look. <laughs> Two sets of tracks. Such a Laura Bailey answer. Ooh. Dad? It's her. Let's go. That's a zebra. That doesn't sound good. No. She's in pain. Oh my god. Is this mirroring the giraffe stuff with Ellie and Joel? Except this time it's Abby and her dad. And it's a zebra. And not only do they get to see the zebra, they're gonna save a zebra. Wait, what if they're infected around? This area is clear. You know they roam. You brought your gun, right? Of course. Then I'm not worried. Oh, uh, shit. What? Abs. It's Abby. Stop calling me Abs, Dad. What? Ooh. <laughs> Ouch. We've got to cut her loose. It's okay, Kyle. Don't worry. I'm not gonna hurt you. It's okay. Damn it. It's really in there. Uh, abs, come here. I'm gonna hold her. Okay. Calm down, calm down. Calm down. Stop, stop, you're out here. Over here, Owen. What? I love him already. Hey, get over here and help me hold her. We need you back up. Owen! Oh, hold her! Yeah, Owen, come on. Hold the zebra. Come on. Uh, All right. All right. You got her tight? Um, uh, yeah. Are we going now? Or? Get in there, Abs. Oh, okay. Oh, oh shit. Owen, oh, hold the zebra. Jesus Christ, this is a hot mess. Uh, okay. Look, y'all, she's not a monster. She just saved the zebra. Has Zelly done that? Holy fuck. No. Everybody's looking for you. We gotta... Hey, wait! Dad! He really doesn't want to die today. <laughs> What's going on? But where are you going? It's like part one all over again. Chasing fireflies. Aw, baby zebra. We did good back there. Doc, that girl showed up. What girl? The one Marlene keeps talking about. It's Ellie. They found her in the tunnels. She has an old bite mark on her arm. No signs of infection. Yeah, and an old crazy man was trying to save her, but that's not important. That can't be. They're already running tests on her, but you gotta get down there. Dad. intertwined with the brain there's no other option there has to be some other way there's no way to remove the specimen without destroying the host a host the host 
Sir, that's a child. She's a child. Oh my god. Not some petri dish. You think I don't- Was Marlene against this? I'm aware of the situation. And you're okay with killing her? No, I'm okay with developing a vaccine that'll help save millions of lives. How many fireflies have died for less? That was their choice. Are you asking me? Or are you telling me this is how it's gonna be? I am begging you to buy in. And what if this was Abby? Oh, shit. <laughs> Look, everything that we've been fighting for, all the sacrifices, all of the horrific... You're not answering the question. All of that is justified with this one act. What if it was your daughter? If this was your daughter. Oh, my God. What would you do? Would you even wake her up to tell her what is happening or no? <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. Damn it, Abby, why? Abby. Ruin everything. Buy some dinner. Thanks, Abby, that was real sweet. Thank you, sweetheart. You just happened to ruin the most important debate of this game. Look, Marlene. <laughs> Do it. Wow. Thank you. The fact that she wasn't 100% on board on this is sad. I'm gonna go tell Joel. Why? What do you mean, why, sir? He traveled across the country with her. The fuck? He has a right to know. You know who else has a right to know? The fucking girl that you're gonna operate on! Good luck with your surgery. You know what's sad is that all this could have been avoided if you would have just woken up Ellie and asked her what she wanted to do. It'd save us all the trouble here, but no! It's all Joel's fault. You're doing the right thing. <laughs> yeah. If it was me, I'd want you to do the surgery. That's cool. <laughs> At least you got to be awake to make that decision. Ellie didn't. That's the thing that's pissing me off here. Because if the roles were reversed, and if he was Joel and Abby was Ellie, he would have done the exact same thing. He's like, why haven't y'all told me? Why didn't you not wake her up? And thanks to miscommunication, Joel is on a murder spree right now. Not gonna lie, this was my favorite mission in part one. And the fact that I know exactly what I did with Joel in this mission, I'm scared to look at the damage that I've done. And I'm kind of curious of what the canon version is on how Joel kills the doctor. Because I stabbed him with his own scalpel in his neck. That, that's how I did it. Is he still in the fucking building? Dad? Abby. No. Abby, don't look. Dad! Oh, it's canon. Dad! No. No. I feel like a shitty person now. I still think Joel was in the right, but I get it. Joel. Oh my god. Get up. Joel, fucking get up. Great, we get to see Abby's point of view. Please stop. Please don't shoot. This is fucking sad. Joel, please get up. <laughs> no! Oh, no! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Ellie. This fucking asshole. For any help in there. Oh, fuck you! Oh, he's gonna die, isn't he? Fucking kill you! Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Manny, cleaning up. No, no, no. We're here for him. That's it. It's too risky to leave them alive. Too fucking bad. He's right. We can't have loose ends. We killed them. We're no better than he was. They didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, look at my face. <gasps> Fuck your face. You should have been guarding the upstairs like I told you to. Move! Back up. Calm down. Or what? Back the fuck up! Calm down! Garden! You shoot me? Stop! We're done. Was it worth it, Abby?